Rain, as you've been seeing here on nine on your side all afternoon, uh, the interstate behind me completely empty. I-275, no traffic going either way. But I want to point your attention there to that cable barrier in the middle. In some places on the interstate, it's a classic concrete Jersey barrier. Here, it's a cable barrier. And authorities are telling nine on your side reporter Tom McKee that this may have actually saved lives because this is intended to prevent a crossover accident, where as vehicles are trying. Trying to avoid the other stop vehicles and the uh, accidents in front of them in this chain reaction crash. They were stopped from crossing over to the opposing lanes of traffic. They are saying right now that at least one 18 wheeler was actually stopped by this cable barrier. In just a second, you're going to see one of the Cone Rain Fire EMS trucks going by. A lot of emergency vehicles out here, as you might imagine. This is a classic chain reaction crash. Obviously, you can see the results from the video. What does that mean, chain reaction? It means someone panics in front. We don't know exactly what the initial cause, the initial spark, if you will, that set all of this off. But that initial incident obviously caused someone to panic. Then all of the vehicles behind, depending on following distance, have difficulty stopping before hitting the cars and trucks in front of them. Add to that the whiteout conditions, meaning the drivers simply couldn't see the vehicles in front of them and that stopping distance, not knowing that they had to stop quickly before it was simply too late. And then add the fact that that whiteout that was causing the problem, the snow causing the visibility problem, then coats the roadway, making the roadway so slick the vehicles couldn't stop as quickly as they could on dry road. All of this sounds like common sense, but when you add that together, the difficulty seeing the vehicles in front of you, maybe some tight following distance as you often see on the interstate, and the third thing, the slick roadway combined to cause up to 70 cars, perhaps more, crashing into each other. That number keeps changing, but around 70 vehicles, a number of them 18 wheelers, and now hearing the one fatality, a 12-year-old girl. Brendan Keefe, not on your side, I-275.